All right, day's finally here. Today's April 1st. It's a nice, uh, bright and sunshiny day here in Colorado. So uh, planning on going fishing tomorrow. Headed into Walmart right now and get my fishing line. Man, Walmart drives me crazy. Of course, I had to go on a Saturday. Whew. All right, got it. Okay, made it out here on a beautiful day. Aurora Reservoir. We'll go see if we can catch some fish for the first time. So this is Aurora Reservoir. This is the tail end of it. I think it says it's got about eight mile all the way around. So far, only a couple of boats and hardly anybody at all. So second day of fishing season. We'll go see if I can set up with a decent spot. All right, Aurora Reservoir. So, got my pole. First ever cat. See what happens. So I pretty much got a 50 pound braid with a 15 pound fluorocarbon leader. Alright, a couple more casts and I'll switch to a worm. I did have to buy weights. The Lucky Jack box does not provide weights in the box, so I just went and bought some cheap boat weights. We'll get that going in a Move to the other side of the bank. I'm gonna fish this little area for a few minutes. I'm gonna tie on a worm. 
Uh, I see nothing across the top of the water. So I'm gonna take off the top, that top water there. So I told you guys I was gonna show some basic stuff that the, uh, the pro, guy, pro guys don't show you. Um, the boring stuff, right? So, taking off my top water. Almar. The cheap half ounce. Um, a lot of other guys were saying three quarters. I don't have any beads. I don't have anything like that. So we'll just see what it, what it does. I'm not going to peg it. Well, that really makes it heavy. Doesn't it? I'm going to leave plenty of loot for my Palomar this time. I don't know what kind of worm I want to put on yet. We will see. So this is the uh, beginner's hassle here. Where I'm just not used to working the blind yet. So it's gonna take me a little while. Uh, fluorocarbon is nice and clear. Hooks are nice and sharp. There we go. So I think that's all I need. Pull it up tight. Yeah, you're supposed to wet the line even though it's been in the water, right? Good stuff. the rage tail. Ooh, look at that. All over the place. I think. Oh yeah, coffee's in it. Yeah. But I figure it's real shallow and grassy along in here. So who knows? I'll probably pretend like I know what I'm doing. Let's see if I can get him on here. Yeah, that doesn't look right, but okay, I'm gonna throw it anyways. 
It's the first time I ever did that, so. So, hopefully he'll float just a tad. And the way it'll take him down, he'll float up. <laughs> Honestly, I have no clue at this point. No clue at all. That didn't go anywhere. Just got to get stuck on the very first line up in the tree. Already moving spots, already changing up cameras. So as you can see, there's not a whole lot of great spots without the crush and weeds right up at the bank. So I'm gonna go over there on the other side and see what happens. So I walked and I walked. Just looking for some clearing without some, some of those reeds. <coughs> so we'll see what this does for a little bit. You can see just a little bit of little bait fish, but nothing big at all. Day one. I already snapped it. It actually came apart in my FG knot. That means I gotta tie a whole new leader to it. A little bit more difficult than I thought. Let me tie that on and I'll get back. So that really took quite a bit of time. Had to retie my FG knot to turn on another hook. It's a three aught because that's what I got with the uh, tackle. And I almost did it again. I want my weight on there. Unless I want to go weightless. Yeah, I think I gotta have a weight. It's kind of interesting. You know, to do the, the bank fishing versus a boat. I think. 
overall, if you had a boat, probably get hung up less. Because you're not reeling it in to the bank, you can move around a little bit. <coughs> Excuse me. Coming down with something. Happy birthday to me, coming down with a cold. Hopefully it's just an allergy or something. But I don't hear anybody yelling or even got anything. So, it is what it is. There's not all much you can do about it. I guess that's what fishing is. It's patience. Which I don't want, but it'll still be fun. We'll see. Alright, yeah, we'll try something else, because you know, why why try the same thing twice? So just move down the water a little bit more. Start casting. Keep in mind I do it all. the yellow. We're going with the green pumpkin tube. It's a little bit smaller so maybe it'll be a little bit better. I just really don't think they're biting today. because I didn't see a thing. Got the gear. Now I just gotta get the fish. See you guys next time.